Hey guys, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes from Cointelegraph and former Coinbase product manager pleads guilty in an insider trading case. The United States prosecutors have labeled this as the first insider trading case in cryptocurrency. So very interesting. Is this really the first? Wow. Well, let's go over it. Well, Ishan Wahi, a former product manager at Coinbase Global Inc., has admitted to two counts of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in a case that U.S. prosecutors have labeled as as the first insider trading case involving cryptocurrencies. Here is a tweet from Reuters pointing out the ex-Coinbase pleading guilty to it. But according to a report by Reuters, the prosecutor claimed that while he disclosed private information to his brother, Nikhil, and his friend, Samir Ramani regarding imminent announcements of new digital assets that Coinbase would enable users to trade. The announcement later caused assets to rise in value, allowing Nikhil and Samir Rahman to generate illicit gains of at least $1.5 million. Nikhil, Wahi, and Rahmani were charged with using the Ethereum blockchain wallets to acquire digital assets and trading before the Coinbase announcement. I knew that Samir Rahmani and Nikhil Wahi would use that information to make trading decisions, Ishan Wahi admitted during Tuesday's hearing in Manhattan Federal Court. It was wrong to misappropriate and disseminate Coinbase's property, he added. As part of his plea deal, Ishan Wahi has agreed to be sentenced to between 36 and 47 months in prison. His sentences hearing is scheduled for May 10th. His brother Nahil Wahi has already pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 10 months in prison, while Ramani remains at large. Coinbase reportedly shared its findings from an internal probe on trading with prosecutors. On January 10th, Cointelegraph reported that Ishan Wahi's brother, Nikhil Wahi, had been sentenced to the 10 months in prison for wire fraud conspiracy charges. Now, Nikhil Wahi pleaded guilty in September to initiating trading uh, based on confidential information obtained from his brother, Ishan Wahi. Now, in Nikhil Wahi's case, U.S. prosecutors proposed a prison sentence ranging from 10 to 16 months due to the fact that he pro. Uh, that he profited nearly 900 million, no, not, not million, Ooh, that'd be crazy, but he profited $900,000 from his illicit activities. However, his defense lawyers proposed an alternative outcome, contending that his driving force behind the offense was to repay his parents for his college education and that he had no previous criminal history. Well, wait, so in these cases, did they take all that money from him or did he actually do pay his parents back for that education? But, ooh, 10 months for one. 36 to 47? Oh, whoa, that's three years? Wow. Your life is just gone. People don't do illegal stuff. <laughs> it's not worth it to be locked away in then your life. Because if there's one thing valuable in this earth outside of cryptos, outside of money, the most valuable thing is time. And he's losing three full years of it. His brother, 10, and the other guy, his friend, is at large. So, whoo, whoo, whoo pretty crazy. But yeah, what an interesting article right here. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.